Hello and welcome back to another tutorial on advanced charts. This is Trisha Jakani and today I am going to take you through the another chart known as the GAN chart. GAN chart is a very useful tool to visualize all tasks of a project, identify overlapping timelines if any, track progresses and thus ensure the smooth workflow. It has small bars which help to identify the timelines of each of the tasks in the project. While unfortunately there is no GAN chart or inbuilt GAN chart inside the Excel, there is a way to create a GAN chart using our regular tool which is in Excel. So let's see today how we can create a GAN chart using our simple charts and that's a, the bar chart in the data that is provided to us and tweak around to create or to visualize it as a GAN chart. Look at the data that I have on my example sheet here. The data signifies the task that is, the, that is given for the project and each task has a start date given to it. While along with the start date, it also contains the number of days that the task will take to complete that particular task. So now if you look at this, the task one is starting on 22nd May, but it is getting over on in 13 days, which will definitely be going or overlapping in the next month. However, if you look at task two, which is 31st May, and it will take nine days. So if you look at this and this, both the tasks, which is the task one and task two, anybody who's going to start with task one, and if that same person is going to do task two, the task two is going to overlap task one. So then the person who is doing task one and task two will have to perform at some point of time both tasks together. So this kind of information when it is put into the chart, it becomes very, very useful for the project manager to also assign the workflow or the uh, man days accordingly or the resources accordingly depending on where the task is getting over or when the task is starting. So it becomes very, very useful for a project manager. Let's move on and see that how you can create a GAN chart in Excel. Now that I already have the task names given to me with the start date and the dates of complete, what I'll do is I will start with creating a simple bar chart from the data that I have available here. I start by selecting the first two data or first two information from our database, which is the task name and the start date. Once I select this two information, I'm going to leave days of days to complete as of now and create a bar chart from this. Go on to insert, under the column or the bar chart, I will select the second option, which is the stack bar chart. Once I do that, you can see that the stack bar chart is created in this list. You can see the task names are given in the vertical axis, while the horizontal axis contains the dates or the start dates from them. Now, this is a simple chart that I have created, but it doesn't have any, uh, it doesn't look like a GAN chart. So what I need is small bars that needs to be created. So what I'll do is, I will go on to select the chart that I have created, go on to the select data option from the chart design option in my Excel sheet, go on to that and you will see that there are two options given here. One is legend entries and one is a horizontal axis label. Horizontal axis label is definitely already giving you the list of the tasks that is Given here, why is it horizontal? Because we are using the bar chart. That's the reason this becomes your horizontal bar axis. Now that I have the task given here already, what I need to do is the legend entries, which are your date that is mentioned here. I will add one more data to that, and that is the days to complete, so that it automatically adds one more bar to this. And the series value is going to come from the list of values that is given here. Once I click on OK, you can now easily see that one more data is added just next to your original data that we had picked up from. So now if you look at this data, I can see that there is 
one data that is giving me starting date which is from the 22nd of may and going up to 13 days which is closer to uh, june of 7th or 8th that's how it is showing me here as a date now what i'll do is i just want these small bars to be shown in the gantt chart i do not want the other bar to be shown so i'll select the other bar other part of the bar and then go on to the format from the ribbon and from the shape fill i will just remove the color completely even the shape outline that i have i will remove that and say no outline so that there is no borders and it can it is not be seen at all i would also want to remove the grid lines if i want to if i wish to leave it that up to me but i am going to remove the grid line i like to keep it as clean as possible now it looks like a little bit better in terms of how the gantt chart looks so the starting date is here it is getting over the first task over here moving on a little ahead what i am now going to do is my start date is going to be the 22nd of may however excel is automatically picking up 10th april as my start date which is not correct what i need to do is i want to take this 22nd may as my start date or i can take even the 20th of may as a start date that's fine one or two days here and there so that this bar starts from here which is the starting point of the project now the problem here is that if i put 22nd may directly inside the chart that will not work why am i saying that let's see what happens if i go on to my chart and inside the is that the format that you can see here so i chart design that you can see here click on the select data and here you can see that the start date option is already available if you click on edit it shows that it is picking up the data from this list however because the bar chart was bigger it has automatically picked the data starting from 10th of april what we need to do is we need to change the axis label from your so axis label if you look at if you double click on the axis your or you just right click on the axis and say format axis this format axis window will open up on the right now in the format axis option your you can see that the minimum uh, value on the axis is 43200 and the maximum 43320 what is that that is actually should be the date it's but it is taking some kind of a number why is that happening because in excel it does not take the date in the date format if you i put 10th april it is going to look like 10th april fine but if i change it to a general option it will show me a number as 23931 so it is taking it as a number Now, if you look at this date, it is twenty second May two thousand and eighteen. Now, if I pick this number and try to change it to general, let's say, it will show me four three two four two. So then, what I need to do is I need to take this four three two four two and put it in the axis label option here where the minimum is four three two four two. So I'll take four three two four two. as my minimum value now what happens just look properly it automatically takes the minimum value as 43242 now what has happened is because i tried to change the format on that one top and automatically picked up the format for the rest as well so i'm just changing the format back to normal and you can see that it is starting from 22nd of may i can actually do 20th of may also if i want to just in case you know to just just to keep it little away from my axis which i have here i'm going to do general so it's saying 43242 instead of i'll take the date name instead of taking 22nd may and if i do general now four three two four zero so what i'll do is instead of keeping four three two four two i am going to take four three two four zero So what happens is now it keeps itself little away from the uh, x-axis that we have on the bar chart. But if you are not comfortable with that, you can always will keep the same value, which is four three two four two, so that it stays or it sticks to the axis as well.
now that we have here it's the task that you can see starts from the bottom task 1 and goes to the top task 8 we prefer to see the task in the other way round where the task 1 is going to be the top task 8 will go at the bottom in order to do that i'm going to again take the task and the access option from this the access option comes here what i need to do is i want to show it in the reverse order so if you look at the access position i'll click on category in the reverse order and it automatically picks up the category in the reverse order which is task a1 coming on the top and the task 8 going to the end one more thing if you have noticed it is 15th of july that it is starting and in 12 days if it is getting over it is going to get over till maximum 29th of july or 30th of july but your data the last data is still showing as 8th of august so if you want to change that also that can also be done by just using the same method which we you did here where i'm going to change the format of the date to show as let's say 15th of july which is 43296 so what i'll do is i'll select this and my maximum value will be 43296 once i do that you will see that your last value that you can see is getting a little better i think in 15th of july let me take maybe 15th or 17th of july so uh sorry it is 29th of july because 15 july is the start date so i'll have to take somewhere till 29th so uh, because i had taken 15th of july it just went away 43310 take this again these are just some tricks that we are doing here 43310 now you can clearly see that it is only going up to 29th of july and the data is starting from the 22nd of may your project gets over on the 29th of july you can add your data labels if you want to in this list so that it looks even better so it gives you more information as to this this data this is giving you the dates here while that you can remove your dates from the top you can leave the task on so you can see the task clearly and you are you are with 22nd may 31st may 5th july so it is it looks very very clean neat and it gives you the feel of the gantt chart so this is how you can create a gantt chart inside the excel by using the stack bar chart and making some changes format changes to your data so that it looks like a gantt chart hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and keep watching for more of such tutorials